the outside of the vehicle. Um, right beside me, we have the custom F-150 headlights. There's a strobe bulb in each one on the front. Kind of our rhino line, lower balance, our billet grill, our four PIA driving lights, custom hood scoop, and your tier three light bar by the, on the visor. Um, going around to the inside, this is your cab pressure for air ride cab. This is your leveling rod for your front air ride. Upgraded shocks here by ProComp. Have our strobe lights going down the side. Um, up above, we have a uh, keypad entry, which we can program this to your code. Um, to lock this door, we want to use 555. Five, five. It's going to lock all the doors. Make sure you have your keys. Also, as you open each door, you'll find that the AMP, AMP research steps do come out each way. There's four, uh, there's four of these steps on here. The longer ones for the front and shorter ones for this uh, last door. Have these Promotex locking fuel caps. The key you'll find in your door, just set it in there like so. Let's firmly remove this. And just the opposite, don't want to force this thing back on. It goes on smooth. Turn it back on there until it's snug. Let's give it a good turn and remove your key. On down, this access door here in this hidden tank, you'll find four batteries. You'll find a solenoid to control the rear batteries for the rear entertainment center. These two fuses which control the entertainment. Circuit breaker for the electronics in the, uh, in the partition. You have your pro comp, rear air ride. You can see your airbags back here, custom roll pan, custom rear bumper, tag. This right here is uh, where you want to plug your auxiliary fuel outlet, which in the rear of the vehicle. Oh. your mating in to it. Make sure your fuel pump's not on when you plug this in. Just like an air nozzle. Plug until it clicks. It's in there good. Now you're ready to turn that switch on that I showed you inside your console. When it's on, it'll be primed up. And you're ready to fill with unleaded fuel. You have standard seven-way trailer connector for your trailer and auxiliary air nozzle for running a, a small tool or uh, pumping up inflatables so on and so forth Rear camera um, right below the tag is your pioneer camera which is for your back clearance and uh, going in there have your PIA reverse lights Um, this last tank is your 45 gallon unleaded fuel tank for your, uh, your auxiliary fuel pump. Comes off with the same key as the front, just like I showed you previously. This is your other side diesel fuel tank. So this one and the other front one, diesel only for the engine. Under this fender well, you'll find 
a 110 male outlet. This is for your uh, your uh, engine heater, keeping the motor warm if it's very cold where you're at. All you want to do is plug an extension cord in here, plug it in the wall when you park it at night. Up top we have our 08 Super Duty mirrors, custom painted to match the truck. These are manual in and out, but they're power mirrors, nothing the same. Uh, parking light, blinkers incorporated. Painted and door handles. Custom painted door handles. Play around. And as you can see, you your strobe lights on this side also. The truck customs by Chris. I'm going to walk you through some of the basic operations of your truck. Starting with the standard Super Duty power windows, locks, window lock, and mirror, headlights, parking lights, dimmer, tilt steering, your horn. This is your air pressure. If you're green and red, usually around 120 or so. Cruise control, your first two you'll find here. To turn your cruise control on, you'll just uh, turn cruise on and set the negative. And then you got plus and negative speed for the road. Off track, off road traction control, it's your air dump. By engaging this, it will dump your rear airbags for access to the rear hatch, uh, basic AC controls, your four-wheel drive controls over here for your transfer in and out uh, in your high and low range. We have a console here that houses all the electronics for the excursion clip and some of the uh, extra electronics that we've added. Starting at the top with the vent windows for the excursion clip in the rear. The rear, the very rear windows for the third doors, up and down. To the left and right here are your divider and your glass partition up and down. Rear window defroster, rear window wiper and washer. The first two switches here control the two amplifiers for the the base in the uh, rear of the vehicle. Uh, one switch on would uh, would activate the tens. Once the other switch on would activate the thirteens uh, also. So having both of them on has all your woofers on. Followed by your strobe lights and your PIA lights, also driving lights, which is active when you turn your parking lights on and the switch simultaneously. Inside the console. We have another switch in here. This will be your gas transfer pump. When you turn it on, you'll hear it. Also give you a red indicator light to let you know that it's on. Now to the radio. The radio here, when you turn it on, it's gonna be at the source that you left it at. To get to a separate source at any, any time in this sequence, just touch the top left-hand corner of the screen and you'll get this menu. This menu will give you the option to choose from your library, uh, your FM, your AM, your iPod if in there, uh, audio video input which would be your track vision and Xbox 360. I'll take you to that right now. By touching audio video, so your track vision comes up. Down below there's an audio video switcher unit. The switcher unit is going to toggle between the sources that that are in the truck, whether it be Xbox or DirecTV. And like I said, when you touch the top left, I touched it once to bring it up and once to switch it over. I can go right back to FM. And that pretty much will conclude everything but your navigation features. 
let's see, go menu, I'm going to say OK, and there's your date, your map. Now, to set up a destination, you have four bars across the top, but what you usually would use is an address search. You want to change your state first, the state that you're going to, then your house number to where, uh, where you're going. Set that in and it'll kind of walk you through each step. I'll ask you for the street name. I'll just put our address in here. There it is. And then it'll, it'll give you a couple of choices for the region that you're in. You choose it. It'll find your map. You choose the route. Sometimes it gives you up to three options, multiple routes. You just choose OK on that route and they'll give you a voice confirmation. Now, for the overhead here, you have two separate camera inputs. Anytime that you want to, you want to use this, just touch the screen. And what we've got here is a camera pointing forward. Generally for parking or pulling up into a dark area where you can't really see in front of the truck, um, you can use that touch it again and go to mode it's going to switch over to the back camera and just repeat that process to to go to the front one again and if you don't if it's nighttime and you don't want to see this just turn the power off sunroof and right above that we have our sunroof Going to touch it one time on the back. It's going to open up. You also have two presets. If there's a certain way that you like it half open or something like that, you can set your presets up. Uh, the C stands for close. You just push that and it closes. Um, by pushing the close, the other, the forward button, by pushing it, you can actually vent this one completely open just push close again and it closes okay now we're inside the back of